Well, and then on November 7th, 1991, Alpo was arrested in Washington, D.C. Uh, he was charged with uh, conspir- conspiracy to commit murder, various drug charges, 14 counts of murder, including uh, the murder of a D.C. drug dealer, Michael Anthony uh, Salters, a.k.a. Frey. Uh, as well as the murder of uh, Demencio Benson. So Alpo was facing the death penalty or seven life sentences. And in order to actually avoid that, he ended up turning informant and started to testify against all the people around him. Uh, Alpo admitted to 14 murders, eight murders in D.C., two in Maryland, and four in New York. One of which, I mean, I assume one of the New York ones is uh, Rich Porter. Do you know who the other three were? I, I don't have a clue, bro. Okay. I don't have a clue, bro. I mean, people compared Alpo to serial killer Ted Bundy. Do you think that's a fair comparison? I said that, I, I might have said it first. I said, dude turn it to a serial killer. Yeah. Because that's a lot of bodies, bro. Like I said, I don't understand how anybody could take a life, period, of anybody for whatever, money, drugs, whatever, or, or, you know, even feeling that, you know, it's like you're playing the game too hard, bro. It ain't that serious, bro. You understand? Yeah. And... Karma is real, bro. You can't keep being disrespectful and not get disrespected, bro. It's coming back, bro. One time I read in this book, and it made all the sense to me. It was a, I think it was a book called The Science of God. It said killers will kill killers, but surely die in their celebration. I was like, wow, man. And that shit is real, bro. Because if you kill somebody for the rest of your life, you got to live your life around yes men. The white checking you for what you've done. Because they, they're in fear. So you're buried alive, bro. Mm. If that's your circle. Yeah. And, and that's how I see it, bro. That's how I see that, bro. Yeah. 